Well, good morning. Um, it's about 9, eh, 9.30. Um, Wednesday morning. This will be November 21st. November 21st. Um, the day before Thanksgiving. And we are at the top of a, uh, wow, a monstrous, uh, monstrous climb. That had to be uh, 300 feet or so. Um, to get up here um, on a uh, on a ridge line now, and um, this is uh, day number one of a, a three-day uh, Thanksgiving hike. Um, first, let me start by showing you the view. So we are, oddly enough, we are um, we're on the North Country Trail. We are on the uh, Buckeye Trail, and we are on locally what's called the Shawnee F uh, National Forest Backpack Trail. Um, it's outside of West uh, Port Smith, Ohio. Um, we actually stayed in the uh, the Shawnee State Park Lodge last night, which is a really nice, uh, uh, <laughs> really festive lodge. Had a great meal, and uh, was able to just literally drive a half mile to the trailhead, park uh, park the vehicle, and then walk across the street and uh, get on the trail. So, um, so yeah, we're uh, sticking to our our uh, goal of trying to. Uh, to hike um, one one hike a month. Um, this one will be a little different for me. For one, it's um, it's only supposed to be 47 degrees. Uh, that's for the high today. Right now, it's uh, it's about 32. Um, it's uh, when you're not moving, it gets it gets a little chilly. But once once you're moving, you know you get your body temperature up. You're uh, you're good to go. Um, I'm supposed to get down to 28, 29 tonight. So. Um, I'm sure I'll be in, inside my liner, inside my sleeping bag, inside my tent, and uh, having my head buried. Um, but I'm, I'm uh, excited, I'm looking forward to it. That, that is, if I actually make it to camp number two. Um, it's a pretty awesome trail. It's got seven campsites, each about five to six miles apart, water. Most of them have privies. Uh, camp number six is the only one that doesn't have water, but you can uh, you can filter it out of a creek. And then um, in the wintertime, it's a little, different depending on the roads they may not actually port the water up from the city but um, my guess is there there'll be water there if not I have there's tons of sources all around so um, it did uh, it rained yesterday which um, has got me a little bit on the alert because um, all the leaves as you can see the trail is just all all leaves and uh, my first experience out on the trail with a loaded backpack and some leaves uh, put me off the trail after a, a nice uh, a nice long hike out so we don't want to have that happen again um, so uh, so yeah this is it we're going to uh, get going here we got 11.1 uh, miles on the day I think to get to camp number two and uh, we need to get there by uh, by 4:30 basically so I can set up and uh, be in there be in there before dark so uh, I guess sunset is at 517 tonight, so um, that's it. So, uh, welcome back to the trail. We'll see you down the way.
Whew. Oh, that got steep. Fast. Yeah. That is where we came from. Whew. All right. Let's finish this. Up and over. Trail goes that way. This is a marker. And that's where we came from. Ah, gorgeous day. Gorgeous day to be out on the trail. So, hey there, good afternoon. Um, just actually, it's just about noon. Um, we uh, are now on taking a, a road walk. Um, I got off the trail at uh, Forest Road 6. Um, gonna walk part of the trail here so that. Um, I can go check out, uh, it's called Copperhead Tower. I guess it's a fire tower. Um, it does, I mean, it's, it's a road walk. I mean, you're still, you're still going. Um, it won't be, hopefully it won't be as slippery as uh, some of those uh, uh, inclines and declines I've been doing for the last two and a half hours. Um, I'm not gonna lie, uh, so, <laughs> some of those are pretty steep. Um, it just, uh, I, you know, you can do it. It's just, uh, my, my legs were really, really, really feeling it. They're, uh, it, it started off right at, right at the get-go. Boom. I mean, you walk in, you do this little left-hand turn off, off the trailhead, and it's, it's uphill. So, uh, uh, it was, uh, it was, a, it was a pretty awesome start. Um, the sun is out, obviously, you can see. Um, it's probably, I don't know, maybe 41, 42 degrees. Um, feeling, uh, f feeling pretty good. Um, not going as, uh, as fast as I had planned. Um, I mean, in the past I've met, I've averaged, you know, two, two and a half uh, miles an hour. Um, I don't know if it's just because it's been... A bit since uh, since I was last on the trail on, on the North Country Trail, I lost my legs a little bit, or um, if it's just just uh, this this trail with the elevation. I mean, you're just got to go up and you got to go you got to go down. It's not just uh, it's pr I guess maybe I'm just not moving moving as fast as I had thought. Um, I'm still okay because I had planned on um, a minimum of one and a half miles an hour um and that would give me it'd get me to camp too in plenty of time with uh with daylight still left so that's uh that's the thing um you're fighting in november is uh is your available daylight i mean it, the sun came up around 7 12 this morning and it'll go down around 5 5 5 15 uh tonight and that'll be it so uh gotta get to camp too and i gotta get set up and get ready to uh, cocoon so so I, so I stay warm um yeah but the uh the views here are just crazy um one of the things that intrigued me about this trail uh and why i drove almost six hours uh to do it um is that it's a there's a north trail and there's a south trail two loops basically split by uh 
Service Road 125. Um, so you can do the North Loop, which will take you to Camps 1, 2, and technically Camp 3, right at the edge. And then uh, do the South Loop, which will take you to Camps uh, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So um, it's nice because, whew, going uphill on the road here. Ah, dying. So out of shape. Be honest with you. Just, uh, I don't know if you can prepare for enough for these things unless you just, you just do it every day. And that's, uh, that's the trick, right? So, uh, the other thing I was saying is, the nice thing is, if you do the north loop and you get back to, because it comes back across Service Road 125, you can always bail. And then it's a, it's a three mile walk down that road, but you could uh, walk back to the trailhead without having to do the, uh, the rest of the 40 miles. Um, don't anticipate that being the case, but uh, you know, I guess uh, depends how I'm feeling tomorrow. Right now, my legs, yeah, they're, they're definitely, uh, definitely feeling it a little bit. So um, we'll, we'll see. So having a, have a good time. The weather's nice. Um, going to uh, go check out this fire tower. I'll uh, include some video of that when I get there. And then uh, after that, we should be off and running to, uh, to our campsite for the night. So, um, so that's it, checking in. I guess uh, I'll do it for now. We'll, uh, we'll see you in a little bit. So, hey there, good evening. Um, got camp set up. We're at, uh, didn't, uh, actually we did not go as far as, um, as I thought I would today. I thought I'd be able to crank out 11.1 miles. Um, I actually, uh, I blew by camp one, um, early on. Um, didn't even realize I passed it. And then, uh, I figured, man, I made a, mis made a mistake somewhere. So I had to uh, turn around and come back. And, um, just because it was, uh, it was probably about two, two o'clock, two, two fifteen. And, uh, with the amount of light, I was just looking at him like, man, there's no way I'm going to make another uh, another five and a half miles um, and be able to get everything set up and, and feel comfortable. So um, and I, I just, I, you know, sure, could have pushed it, could have had, uh, you know, I got the headlamps, I could have done it, uh, setting it up at night, but I just, I've just, this turned out much, much better, actually. Um, very, very happy. So there's our, there's, there's the home for the evening. Woohoo. All set up, ready to go. Um, the uh, the trail it's back that way. Actually, you can see. Um, I think you can see. Let's see. Where's the orange sign? There it is. So you can see the orange sign. Right. I'll try to point to it if I can. Where's the camera? There it is. Right. There, there's the orange sign for the trail, and it, um, it, <laughs> yeah, I already did that part for a little bit, and it, I mean, it goes poof, straight down, and uh, there's two little switchbacks and down some more, and it just keeps going. Um, that was not the happiest. My, my quads were not happy when uh, I had to come back up that that thing to come back and, and uh, try to figure out what I what I had missed. So um, <clears throat> we um, made some. Uh, some uh, garden, Uncle Ben's garden, garden rice with uh, some star kissed uh, chicken. Uh, it was uh, lemon herb that was mixed in there with a little bit of, little bit of water, and uh, that was uh, really, really tasty. And then um, had a uh, put together a nice cup of. And that's actually what we're having now. I'm going to get, 
I want to get that cup of coffee. Um, a nice, nice cup of uh, Starbucks via coffee. And to heat, to heat things up. Um, so, so yeah, um, an awesome day today. Uh, actually, the weather uh, beautiful. Um, I mean, you can see it. I'm I'm sitting in it. Um, I'm on a little little uh, a little bench here. I'm sitting on. Um, the sun's uh, sun's getting ready to go down, so it's gonna. I mean, it's gonna drop off. It's supposed to be uh, 29, 28 degrees uh, later tonight. So I'm not even gonna. <laughs> yeah, once I get inside the, inside the tent, inside the uh, inside the sleeping bag. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not getting out. <laughs> There's, not, not until tomorrow morning. Um, the other the other thing is I have to figure out. Um, with uh, where I'm at, I I don't I'm not gonna be able to do the whole. There's just no way I'll be able to do the whole 40, 40 miles the way I wanted to. Um, I'm thinking I should be able to knock out. Um, hoping it all you know, it all depends on how the legs feel tomorrow. T today they were giving me some grief. Um, if if I could get to uh, camp three, which is. Um, I don't know, five, five point one plus another four something. Uh probably about ten, ten and a half miles. Um that that would be nice because then I could just um get up that next that next morning, um, which would be Friday, and then um just take a quick um basically just finish the north the north loop of uh of the Shawnee backpack trail um obviously I wouldn't get a chance to do the south loop but I can come back and do that um and and, and I would because this is a this is a really nice tra trail it's uh well groomed not uh the most it's, it's marked but it's not marked crazy well um but but it's marked enough and then um it's definitely challenging I mean uh when I did the research and the reading you know they said this is probably one of the most rugged areas of Ohio you wouldn't think you know Ohio goes up and down up and down up and down but um, <laughs> yeah here, uh, he, he, I, uh, yeah definitely and uh, I had some video of that as well and maybe I'll take some more tomorrow um, you know depending on how the battery's gonna work out and things like that so um, but yeah just just a great day um, kind of a I'm not, not, absolutely not disappointed in my performance, um, considering it's been probably uh, what it was late September, maybe when um, when I finished, or October, I think maybe October, when I finished up on the um, on the North Country Trail. So I mean, it's been probably a good month since I uh, really got you know the legs out there and doing it. And uh, today, yeah, you know, they, they gave me some fits, but um, for the most part, uh, I think I'll be all right. Um, the worst case, tomorrow morning I wake up and if I'm not feeling it, I mean, all I got to really do is turn around and hike back the way I went. It's, you know, it's only really from here, you know, the map says uh, six miles, um, six, six point one. But um, yeah, up and down, up and down, up and down. Mm, it's a lot more than, than uh, it feels a lot more than six one. Let's put it that way. Um, so that's that. Um, Kind of um, just just a I don't know if you want to call it a fundamental moment or just a, an epiphany, but um, you know I just realized that I mean I knew coming here that I you know I would be on the trail uh, tomorrow, which is Thanksgiving, um, and you know Thanksgiving time is um, it's supposed to be pause, reflect, and um, you know be thankful for. All the things you have, um, I'll certainly be able to do that tomorrow. Um, being on the trail certainly uh, it gives you plenty of time to reflect, crazy amounts of time. Um, and I really do have a lot to be thankful, to, a lot to be thankful for this uh, this Thanksgiving. I mean, I have my health. I'm uh, probably way way ahead of ahead of others my age. Um, you know, I'm starting to get into um, this passion of hiking, um, which, although new, um, it's, I'm just, I'm really enjoying it. I, I thought, wow, you know, you're going to be, 
you're crazy. You're gonna, you're gonna go out there. And you're gonna, you're gonna sleep. It's gonna be freezing, you know, at, at nighttime. You're gonna go out there and do it. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go out there and do it. I mean, um, how else are you gonna test test to make sure you, uh, you, you know, it works and doesn't work? So, um, so yeah. But as I was saying, definitely some time to reflect. A um, lot to be thankful for, and um, I'm excited to, uh, to to you know to see where. Uh, where this crazy adventure takes me. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it. I'm going to uh, going to finish up my coffee here, uh, sign off, and, um, you know, wherever you are, I hope you guys are having just as much fun and awesome time as I am. All right, we'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow.